uh, God bless you all. It's great to uh, be with you on, on today. God is absolutely wonderful. We bless him and praise him for his goodness, his mercy, his kindness unto us. Hey, it's going to be a great day uh, today, and I'm excited uh, to be able to have this opportunity to, uh, to worship with you, to praise our God, to glorify him, magnify his great and his awesome name uh, for who he is and for the wonderful things that he does uh, in our lives. His ways are beyond uh, finding out. Uh, and it is so true. Oh, uh, that men would praise the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works uh, to the children of men. Uh, and I'm just glad uh, to be able to be with you on, on today. And uh, hey, this, this is a, you believe it's the final day of, of, of February uh, 2021. Like, where in the world did uh, these uh, past two months go? Like, wow, we just, this is going by uh, very quickly. And now we're here to tomorrow uh, starts March, and uh, and so hopefully I don't know about you guys, I'm, I'm hoping for you know, some uh, warmer weather. They, they were saying we could have like 50 degrees, like 10 days in a row. I don't know what happened to that, uh, but anyway, uh, at least we're uh, we got some rain uh, today, which uh, of course helps with the uh, saturation and uh, for the, the, the ground and so we need all, all all of that. And that's really important. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's great to see uh, each of you uh, out today. I uh, hope you're ready for uh, a wonderful time of praise and, and worship and uh, just to uh, gather together to, to honor our God. Oh my goodness. Hey, hey today's the 28th. Uh, so within next next Sunday, this time, uh, we'll be able to have in-person service. This is awesome. So we just got uh, about a week or so left. Uh, we'll be in in-person in service. You get a chance to come out and be a part. Uh, we can uh, gather together to praise and worship our God. And uh, of course, March starts for us not only uh, that time for the in-person service for next uh, next Sunday, uh, but the 28th. Uh, we'll be able to start having the uh, parking lot uh, worship service. So I'm, I'm excited about that to be able to see uh, each of you we can gather together uh, for uh, for praise and for worship to honor God and, and you know just to, to bless Him for who He is and for His wonderful words. Well, uh, I see that them you, you, you are coming on and you're saying, uh, you know, uh, uh, hello and good morning, and grace and peace. So let me uh, see uh, who all's uh, talking on, on today. I see Sister Marva, grace and peace to you. Uh, Sister Hawkins, praise the Lord to you. Greg, uh, good morning. Uh, good morning uh, to you. Uh, and uh, of course, I'm just, uh, I'm just excited to have the privilege to be able to uh, be here uh, with you today. Uh, Kendra, good morning to you. Uh, Jackie, good morning. Uh, see how are you feeling, Jackie? Um, good morning, uh, Sister uh, Brenda Scoville. Good morning, praise the Lord to you, uh, Sister Sonia. Good morning to you, uh, Alicia. Good morning, and praise the Lord to you all the way out in California. Good morning uh, to you. Uh, let's see who all is uh, talking uh, today. Uh, Linda, grace and peace uh, to you, uh, and just. It's just really great to, to uh, have a chance to come on and uh, see everybody and, and hear from you. Uh, Charles, uh, good morning. Good morning to you, Charles. Uh, so it's just uh, great to see all, all of you on uh, today. Looking forward to just being able to uh, praise and bless our, our God uh, together. Anybody got the vaccine? Uh, anybody on, uh, has the vaccine? You got the vaccine? Uh, good morning, uh, Ruth. Uh, Shanta, good morning. Praise the Lord. Uh, to you as well. Uh, Greg, good morning uh, to you. Uh, hey, uh, Shawana, how are you? Um, so it's, it's just great to see uh, all of you. Anybody get the vaccine as of yet? Marva and uh, Deacon Schultz, you guys have. Uh, anybody else? Anybody plans on uh, getting the uh, the vaccine? That's important for us to, uh, for those who are willing to do that. So it's always good to, to join in. Uh, hey, uh, to Lisa. Uh, good, uh, good morning to each of you. Uh, I'm so looking forward to being able to uh, to share uh, in the Word of God today. Uh, looking forward to just uh, the, the moment of uh, being able to engage in, in worship together uh, to bless our God and, and to honor Him for who uh, He is and for what He's doing uh, in uh, our lives. So, um, uh, I'm going to uh, get ready to, to get off. Uh, and uh, so it's not 
Uh, we've got a number of things that are, are planned uh, for the worship service on, on today. Uh, and so I'm looking forward to just being able to join together uh, with each one of you uh, in, in the worship and, and the praise and, and just celebrating our God for who he is and for uh, his wonderful things he does in, in our lives. Well, if you haven't already done so, uh, tag somebody in the service, share, please share the service as well, uh, like, uh, comment, uh, all those things that are important to do. Those on the YouTube side, make sure you subscribe. Uh, that's important. We appreciate you for subscribing. Uh, make sure you also like the service and comment along the way. Just like you would do in a normal service uh, and enjoy and, and participate. So, uh, God bless you all. Uh, and we will see you in the just a few moments. Just a few moments. Looking forward to uh, what God is going to do uh, during our, our service. So, uh, hey, I'll see you in this one or two, all right? Good morning. Welcome to Zion Temple Church. If this is your first or your second time here with us, we welcome you. It's always nice to see a new name pop up on the screen. My name is Xavier, and I will be doing your Sunday morning announcements. announcements we love to start off with birthdays and anniversaries so this week we love to wish a happy birthday to Jalen Sapp, Sincere King, Bob Barsacy, Jasmine Edwards, Malika Johnson, Denise Anderson, and Ashley Rosette. We would also love to wish a happy anniversary to all those out there who are celebrating. Did you guys know that we're having a virtual Sunday school? That's right, every Sunday morning on Zoom, we are having a virtual Sunday school from 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. The Zoom meeting link ID is 854-450-17820. Again, that's 854-450-17820. It'll also be down below in case you missed it. March 3rd is our next corporate fast. We fast from midnight until 4 p.m. March 10th is our next Minister Alliance session. March 14th is our next Daylight Savings Time, so set your clocks. And March 17th is our next senior luncheon. More information is forthcoming. And this concludes your morning announcements. Always remember that the Jesus in me loves Jesus in you. Bye. <laughs> of where 
you have been called to? What is your dream? What is your idea? What is your assignment? There is a new breed of champions emerging out of the ashes of doubt and fear. Your knees may be knocking, your palms sweaty, but the time is now to rise up and run after it. Run after your dream. Run after your idea. Run after your goal. Run after it with everything that you have. You will never have your future until you are fully persuaded that you are a carrier of everything required to fulfill your destiny. If nobody believes in you, you gotta make it up in your mind that all you have is all you need. You are going to need vision. Before you win, you're going to have to see it. I want you to see yourself winning. If you can see it, you can have it. Good morning, everyone. God bless you. It is great to be able to be with you on today, and I am excited for the chance to be able to worship. Hey, it's been a while since you've been in the building, so come on. Let's go inside. Let's worship God together. Get your coffee, your tea, uh, your hot chocolate, your breakfast ready. Service is about to start in just a moment. Hey, don't forget your Bible. Gather your family around. It's going to be a great time today. See you in a moment in our worship service. God bless. question if you're good enough ever wondered if you measure up do you wrestle with your imperfections and still feel like you're losing if you answer yes to any of these you can't afford to miss our february sermon series imperfectly perfect live every sunday on facebook and youtube at 10 a.m eastern standard time this series is designed to challenge your perspective unlock answers and free your soul don't miss it so much for joining us. Sunday service is about to begin. Make sure you like and share. It's going to be great. 
great. Some really authentic worship and we get to do that together right where you are. Tell the kids to come watch with you. We have something great for them. Like and share, get your cup of coffee, grab a snack and get ready to worship. God bless you all. It is great to be with you on, on today. God is amazing, uh, and we are so appreciative for His love, His grace, His mercy, and uh, His kindness. The Lord has blessed us to be able to come to the last day of February 2021. Wow, it's amazing. Uh, it's kind of just flown by. We're already two months in. Uh, about tomorrow will be our, our third month, or we'll begin the, th the third month in the 2021. God's been gracious. He's been kind. He's been so loving. Uh, to us. His ways are beyond uh, finding out. We want to take this moment right now. And let's gather uh, uh, for worship. Let, let's come uh, and just begin to give God thanks for his goodness, his mercy, his grace, uh, and his kindness uh, unto us. Come on, let's pray. Father, I thank you today. Glory to God. Thank you for another day. Thank you for another Sunday. Thank you for the chance, God, to be able to worship you, to praise you, to bless you, to glorify, magnify your awesome and your great name. You deserve all praise. You deserve, God, all honor. And you deserve, God, all glory now and forevermore. Oh, that men, hallelujah, would praise you for your goodness and for your wonderful works of the children of men. Oh, that the world would understand how powerful you are, how great you are, how magnificent, God, uh, that you are. And we love you, Jesus. And we praise you, God. And we bless you, God. And we magnify you, God. And we lift your name high, oh God. Hallelujah. Because you're wonderful, Jesus. Yes, Lord. And you're great, oh God. Hallelujah. And we thank you today. Thank you for life. Thank you for strength. Thank you for salvation, glory. And today, with great joy, we draw water from the wells of salvation. Hallelujah. Father, I praise you, God, for what you're doing in our lives and get what's going to happen in this service. Touch God, I pray, in every home. Touch every heart today. Deliver, I do pray, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you for healing breaking out right now. Glory to God. Throughout this service, may your name be glorified. Yes, Lord. And we will praise you. And we will bless you. And we will magnify you for your great God. Yes, you are. God, you deserve Deserve honor. Yes, hallelujah. You do miracles great. Yes, you do, Jesus. Hallelujah. And I thank you today, God. I bless you today. I magnify you. Hallelujah today and forevermore. And as long as I live, glory. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. As long as I live, yes, Lord. I will praise you. Oh, Oh, God, and when time is over, yes, Lord, hallelujah. Oh, God, I'll spend eternity praising you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You're so wonderful. You're so great. You're so awesome. Hallelujah. And I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. I praise you, God. I praise you. Receive. Glory. Receive receive our praise today. God, receive our love today. We have songs ready, God, to offer you. Our hearts are prepared, Lord, to do the same. God, be pleased with the sacrifice that we bring to you. Our gifts, Lord, the sacrifice of worship as well. We'll bless you now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Today's scripture reading will be Psalms 84. How lovely is your dwelling place, O Lord of hosts. My soul longs, yes, faints for the courts of the Lord. My heart and flesh sing for joy to the living God. Even the sparrow finds a home and the swallow a nest for herself where she may lay her young at your altars, O Lord of hosts, my King and my God. Blessed are those who dwell in your house, ever singing your praise. Blessed are those whose strength is in you and whose heart are the highways to Zion. As they go through the valley of Baca, they make it a place of springs. The early rain also covers it with pools. They go from strength to strength 
Each one appears before God in Zion. O Lord God of hosts, hear my prayer. Give ear, O God of Jacob. Behold our shield, O God. Look on the face of your anointed. For a day in your courts is better than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of wickedness. For the Lord God is a sun and shield. The Lord bestows favor and honor. No good thing does he withhold from those who walk uprightly. O Lord of hosts, blessed is the one who trusts in you. Amen. Today we pray for the nations of Comoros, Maya, St. Helena, Namibia, and Botswana. I ask you to remember Comoros and the health issues they are facing. Provide them with the supplies and materials needed to deal with the epidemic. Father, fix the uncontrolled population movements and the lives being lost this year. Father, I ask that you know Mayat. Father, send peace and rest and salvation to the people. As COVID worsens, there is so, many, so much crime that is taking place. Bring peace now, Father. Meet the needs of the people. The unemployment levels are high while living costs are higher. Father, move on to behalf of your people. Father, these other countries are dealing with an outpour of drugs and so much pain and discord in the land. Heal and deliver and set free. Father, I ask you to go in and touch the minds of the leaders, those that are internationally and nationally. Some of these countries need environmental protection. Their livelihood is at stake. Open the eyes of the government. Remember the refugees and remember those that were intentionally displaced. I ask you to touch the families of those that are losing loved ones to death at sea. I ask you to also remember those children that are dying of malnutrition. Help the government to see where there is no food, there is no life. Father, I know that you're bigger than the problem. I know that you see and know all. I ask you to deliver, step in, bring peace, bring healing, give answers. Father God, touch the minds of the scientists. Father God, give them answers. Give them the supplies that are needed to make a change. Father, remember these countries that really don't know how to deal with a pandemic. Father God, COVID is taking over. They're panicking. They are out of supplies. They are out of beds. Father God, move. Bring answers. Bring peace. I ask these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen.
see the cloud I step in felt your love down in the valley and your grace is still surrounding God you've been good to me yes you've been good to me and my soul sings and my
sees that we are not consumed. Because thy compassion fell not, they are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Declarations of Prosperity Deuteronomy 8.18 says, You shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your fathers, as it is this day. Deuteronomy 28.1-14 states, And if you faithfully obey the voice of the Lord your God, being careful to do all his commandments that I command you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all nations of the earth, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. If you obey the voice of the Lord your God, blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the field. Blessed shall you shall be the fruit of your womb, and the fruit of your ground, and the fruit of your cattle. The increase of your herds and the young of your flock. Blessed shall be your basket and your kneading bowl. 
Blessed shall you be when you come in, and blessed shall you be when you go out. The Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before you. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. The Lord will command the blessing on you in your barns and in all that you undertake. And he will bless you in the land that the Lord your God is giving you. The Lord will establish you as a people holy to himself. And he has sworn to you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways, and all the peoples of the earth shall see that you are called by the name of the Lord, and they shall be afraid of you. And the Lord will make you abound in prosperity. In the fruit of your womb and in the fruit of your livestock, and in the fruit of your ground, within the land that the Lord swore to your fathers to give you. The Lord will open to you his good treasury, the heavens, to give the rains to your land in its season, and to bless all the work of your hands. And you shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. And the Lord will make you the head and not the tail, and you shall only go up and not down. If you obey the commandments of the Lord your God, which I command you today, being careful to do them, and if you do not turn aside from any of the words that I command you today, to the right hand or to the left, to go after other gods to serve them. Joshua 1, eight declares, This book of the law shall not depart from your mouth, but you shall meditate on it day and night so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it. For then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. John 3, 1, 2 decrees. Beloved, I am praying that everything prosper with you and that you be in good health, as I know you are prospering spiritually. Based upon the authority of these scriptures, and the command of our Lord and King Jesus Christ. I am hereby deputized to make the following declarations. I decree and declare upon your confession and repentance, the Lord Jesus Christ has forgiven you of mismanaging kingdom finances and resources, stinginess, fear, idolatry, greed, pride, stubbornness, wastefulness, and all the acts of disobedience. Debt nor poverty is God's will for your life. Therefore, I declare your debt eradicated by the blood of Jesus. I decree and declare the Lord has changed your thinking towards wealth. He has shifted your mindset and the mindset of those who walk with you. You now have a kingdom perspective of giving, receiving, wealth, riches, and kingdom prosperity. I decree and declare your financial situation has changed. The Lord God has given you the ability to become rich. Your bloodline now has the secrets to wealth and prosperity. Your businesses and finances are shielded away from all evil observers in the name of Jesus. You are walking in boldness to possess everything inherited and promised to your bloodline in the word of God. I decree and declare, just as God blessed Sarah's womb with promise, he has impregnated you with promise, and I declare you shall not abort. You will go full term and birth forth the blessings of God, which will manifest in your bloodline, in your lifetime now. The favor of the Lord God rests on you. I decree and declare all curses of businesses and financial failures in your life are nullified in Jesus' name. Every trap set for you and your bloodline is exposed and destroyed in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, I pull down every stronghold of failure in your life, business, and finances, both physically and spiritually. I decree and declare that every pipeline of failure into your life is destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Every spiritual limitation in business and financial exploits is destroyed in Jesus' name. I decree and declare that every seed of business and financial failure be uprooted and annihilated in Jesus' name. Every trap of business and 
financial failure, I command destroyed in Jesus' name. Spirit of failure, loose your grip over their life, over their business, over their bloodline in Jesus' name. By the blood of Jesus, I cast out all spirits of canker worm, palmer worm, caterpillar, and locusts that will eat up your blessings. Joel 2.25 I decree and declare the release of the wealth of the wicked into your hands. Proverbs 13.22 Together we claim, command, and seize your wealth now in the name of Jesus. By the command of the king, all nations will call you blessed, and you will be a delightful land. Malachi 3.12 I decree and declare your gates are opened continually, and the wealth of the nations is coming into your life. Isaiah 60 and 11 now is the time for your wealth that has been stored up for you to be released in the name of Jesus. You shall prosper on every side. Multiple streams of income flow to you now. Your fruit shall produce in its season. Your leaf will not wither. Whatever you do shall prosper. Psalms 1 and 3. I decree and declare, as a result of your prosperity, you will be generous to others. You will pour into others as you have been poured into. Proverbs eleven twenty four through 25. Therefore, supernatural, unexpected gifts come your way. You are blessed to be a blessing. I decree and declare that every hole in your bag is closed in the name of Jesus. Haggai 1, 6. This is the year of God's provisions on your life. Your season of supernatural increases is here. All your business issues have received divine solutions and resolutions. You are prosperous. Men and women go out their way to show you favor. The blessing of the Lord rests upon everything you do. These decrees are valid and substantiated by the word of God and the name of Jesus. Each of them has already gone into effect now. This is your year, and today is your day. Declaration. Peekaboo. Hey guys, it's me again, Douglas. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about something that you probably already know, but I know I forget this a lot and, and I think a lot of us do. It's that God is always with you. Now, like I said, you probably hear that all the time. God is always with you. God is everywhere, that sort of thing. But it can be so easy to forget that God is with us. You know, my cousin, she had this baby, this really cute little girl. Her name is Abigail. And sometimes they come to visit my family and and she's getting bigger and she likes to play games sometimes now. But the games that she plays are, you know, just little baby games. Like she loves peekaboo. And peekaboo, basically, you just cover your face and then you say peekaboo. And she thinks it is hilarious. She thinks it's the funniest thing. Every time I go peekaboo, she laughs and laughs and laughs like it is the funniest thing she's ever seen. And it doesn't matter how many times I do it, she still thinks it's funny. And so I was asking my dad about that. I said, Dad, why does Abigail think peekaboo is so funny? And my, okay, my dad is really smart and sometimes he, sometimes he over explains some things, but I thought this was pretty interesting. So I thought I'd share it with you guys today. So there's this thing that my dad was telling me about. He said that babies up to a certain point, they don't understand something called object permanence. Basically it means that if they can't see something, then they don't think it's there. So like if you took one of their stuffed animals and you hit it under the table, they would think it was just gone. They wouldn't think you hit it under the table. And if you're playing peekaboo and you cover up your face, they think you're gone. They think you vanish like a ninja. Now, when you get a little bit older, you realize that if somebody puts a ball under a cup, it's still under the cup. The ball didn't disappear, unless somebody's doing some sort of sneaky magic trick or something. But even then, it's just an illusion. But even though we understand this concept, even though you and I know that if I cover my face, I'm still here, we still end up forgetting just like a little baby would, especially when it comes to God. Now, it's interesting with God because, well, you can't see God. But I think most of us, especially Christians, have felt God, right? There might be a time where you felt really close to God. You know, God did something amazing for you or, or you, you felt him with you. Or maybe you heard him or, or all, these, all these times where we feel the presence of God. 
I think it happens more often than we realize. And so we know that God is with us, and we've had these times where we've felt God with us, but then hard times come and we forget. When troubles come, we're like, where is God? I don't feel God. God isn't here. God doesn't love me. All these, all these really bad, sad things that we think. And we see examples of this all the time in the Bible, where God has done something amazing for somebody, and then they turn right around and they're like, where's God? God has forgotten about me. You know, like the Israelites, when they were slaves in Egypt, God rescued them, and he, he sent these plagues on Pharaoh and on Egypt, and and he did these amazing, wonderful miracles. He split the Red Sea, and they walked across on dry land. And yet when they get out into the wilderness, the Israelites are like, God has abandoned us. He let us out here to die. Like, well, no, of course he didn't do that. Why would he do that? Of course he loves you. Haven't you seen all these things that he's done? And we look at the Israelites, and we think, wow, that's really silly for you to think that way. Or we look at, you know, little baby Abigail, and we think, wow, that's really silly of you to think that I'm gone when I cover my face. But we do that all the time. It's so easy for us to forget what God has done for us and to feel like he isn't here. So my challenge to you guys today is this. It's next time you feel the presence of God, next time you know God is there for you, next time you recognize that God is at work powerfully, I want you to really remember it. Maybe even write it down. Maybe you could get a little journal and you could write down the times when you feel the presence of God. And then in those times where you really can't feel him or you don't, you don't see him working, you can pull out that little journal. You can remember those times when you have felt the presence of God. Because just because you can't feel him doesn't mean he isn't there, you know? Just because Abigail can't see me when I go like this doesn't mean I'm not right here. And someday Abigail is going to grow up and she's going to know and remember that I'm right here even if I cover my face. So let's all remember the times that we have felt the presence of God. So that even in the times when we feel like we might be alone or we feel like, like God isn't there, we will know that God is always with us. They will tell you that your dream is too big. They will tell you that your destiny cannot be fulfilled. They will tell you it is impossible to accomplish what you have set out to accomplish. But it's not about what they say, it's about what you say. I believe that you were born to triumph over every demon, over every devil, over every addiction. You are fighting for your family. You are fighting for your legacy. What you are fighting for is bigger than you. Do not forget this. David ran toward the Philistine. David ran towards the army. Your dream, your idea, whatever goal you have, get up and run after it. Well, we're glad God has blessed us uh, throughout uh, the service today. Uh, it has been an incredible presence of God uh, that we've felt uh, so far. Uh, just enjoying God's presence, just and being able to worship Him, uh, to bless Him, to glorify and magnify our great and our awesome God. Uh, the songs are true. Uh, you are great. Yes, He is. He does miracles great. There's no one like uh, our God. And that's how we say, you know, how great is our God? How great is our God? And as the other song says, everything written about you, God, everything written about God uh, is great. And so we say to Jesus, you know, Lord, uh, my heart is your home. You can have my, if you want it, God, my heart is your home. Please come and dwell uh, among us. And you know, one of my favorites, one of my favorites is, you know, the, the, the prophetic song that, that came forth, you know, uh, uh, and uh, I'm so grateful for the scribe uh, that, that wrote the song, uh, History. You know, it's a very simple song, but I, I love it. You and I, God, we have history. We go way, way back. Hey, if you haven't started your history with God, make sure you, you do that. Uh, start writing that history uh, daily. As a matter of fact, I want you to know, God's already, he's been doing it already for you in advance. He was writing history uh, long before you ever got here. Uh, he was working in your life and has been working to ensure your arrival as well as also your maintenance and your care uh, throughout this life and also through the eternity. Glory to God. He did that through uh, salvation. Uh, and so I love it. I love it. Uh, so, so sometimes it's just good to vibe with God. <laughs> yeah, it's just good just to, just to vibe with God uh, and just love on Him. 
Uh, just kind of and, and appreciate all that he's doing, all that he's done uh, in our lives, all that he's yet going to do uh, in us uh, as well. Uh, normally, normally we would uh, be uh, in, in person. I tell you, I turn to your neighbor and say, "I'm glad to see you today. Glad to see you. We do all that." But again, we're we're socially distanced. And one thing, guys, the light is at the end of the tunnel. Can you believe? It? I love it. I love it. Uh, real soon, uh, it won't be long. You know, it won't be long. Uh, we'll be able to gather an in-person service on a regular basis, not just once a month. We'll be able to gather on, on a regular basis, not just in the parking lot. We'll be able to come together and we'll be able to, to, you know, to embrace one another. We'll be able to shake hands, all that wonderful stuff uh, that we took for granted before. We'll be able to do that. But for now, we're going to keep practicing social distancing. We're going to keep wearing our, our masks and we'll keep sanitizing because we'll make sure that everyone uh, is safe. But hey, I don't know about you. I'm glad to be here uh, on, on today. And so uh, let's do that right, right now. Get that phone out uh, and just start hitting that like button. I'm glad to be here today, glad to be here today, glad to be here today. Yes, glad to be here uh, today. Those who are on our YouTube side, uh, you guys as well. Uh, hey, you can't hit the, 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 the uh, all the hearts and all the rest of the stuff, but you can uh, type in, I'm glad to be here today. And you can do emoji with a hand raise, or you can just say amen, whatever. Uh, glad that you're here today. Glad to see each one of you uh, out for the service on, on uh, today. Hey, uh, let's make these uh, declarations. I repeat after me today, I raise my voice to declare, I will leave Conquest 2021. I take back my life, my mind, my health, my time, my finances, and my resources. I will not be stopped. I will not be distracted. I know who I am, and I know my worth. I'm a leader. I'm a champion. I'm a royal child of God. I will no longer be the devil's dumping ground. I am redeemed. I am forgiven. I am blood washed. I am blessed with every spiritual blessing. I am anointed. I am intelligent. I am enough. I possess everything necessary to lead Conquest 2021. Now with an attitude saying, so watch out, here I come. This is my year. And as I began to say, and today is my day. If you receive for yourself, come on, uh, get that phone out right now and begin to uh, hit that like button, the like button, uh, and just give the Lord thanks and bless him. Uh, receive it for yourself. Uh, glory to God. Uh, we are just so grateful for what God is doing. Hey, it's time for us to be the Lord at his side and to present also with uh, our offering. Now, we're preparing uh, to do so. Uh, again, thank you all so much uh, for giving towards uh, the building fund uh, and uh, towards our, our in endeavor uh, to be able to uh, put our name on the deed. Uh, and we just, it's, it's an exciting moment to, to, to have uh, right now. Well, we've raised over uh, $49,000. Uh, you guys rock. So thank you uh, so much for what you've done uh, and uh, what you're, you're doing. Uh, we'll uh, prepare a final thrust. Uh, to kind of push it over the edge uh, and make sure that that happens. But uh, while we're preparing uh, for that, hey, if you have a uh, building fund, etc., uh, or you, especially the Lord's tithe, we're bring the Lord's tithe, we'll bring our offering and perhaps even also uh, our, our building fund. Uh, here are your ways uh, to give. Join us, please, today. At least, at least, at least a twenty-dollar uh, gift. At least a twenty-dollar gift on, on today in, in the offering, uh, and let's bring the Lord uh, His tithe and put them also with uh, our offering. Okay, now here are your ways to give. You give by cash app. It's a dollar sign. Uh, ZT Cares number three to the end. Again, you give by cash app. It's a dollar sign. ZT Cares number three to the end. You can also give by Venmo. It's the at sign ZT Cares. You give by Venmo. It's the at sign ZT Cares. You can also call in right now. Someone sent you by the phone to receive your call. That number is 410-725-8730. Again, uh, you can give right now uh, over the phone through credit card. Uh, that's 410-725-8730. So, someone sent you by the phone right now to receive that call and then send you back a text receipt. You can also give uh, by mailing your gifts and design to the church. 1304 Business Center Way. Edge of Maryland 21040. Again, that's 
uh, Zion Christian Church, 1304, Business in a Way, Edgewood, Maryland, 21040. We are an every member tithing church. We bring the Lord at his tithe individually and also corporately. God promises that when we do so, he would open the winds of heaven and pour us out blessings. We want to have room enough to receive. And many of us are witnesses that God does exactly that thing and we see the increase in our own lives and the windows of heaven over our head. We are also in every member a giving church. We give individually and also corporately. The word of God says, give it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together and running over, shall men give into your bosom. And we have seen, we are witnesses that when we give to the Lord as an offering, out of a dear love and in sowing seeds, that we'll always find that God makes sure that we never have uh, any lack in our lives. As a matter of fact, He also provides to make sure there's never a dry season uh, in our life uh, as well. So join us, please, in making sure you bring the Lord His tithe, which is the tenth of that which the Lord allows us to make, and then the offering, which is a gift we bring unto un the Lord. And so again, here are your ways uh, to give. You give by cash up, it's a dollar sign, ZG Cares, and we'll do the end. You give by Venmo, it's the at sign, ZG Cares. You can also call in 410-725-8730 or you can mail your gift in Design Temple Church 1304 Business of the Way at your 21040. Again, that's Cash App, dollar sign ZT Cares, number 13, uh, Venmo, the at sign ZT Cares, or you can call in 410-725-8730 or mail your gift to Design Temple Church 1304 Business of the Way at your 21040. May God's richest blessings uh, be upon your life. May you always find that God is always increasing you because you're faithful in bringing the Lord his time and you're faithful in bringing the Lord an, an offering. May God in, increase your borders. May God give you witty adventures. May the Lord bless your seed. May you also ensure that every seed that you have is never empty but always full of many harvests and many more seeds. May God bless your income. May God also bless that which is going out as well. Uh, may the Lord bless your portfolio. May he bless your retirement. May God grant you ideas to be able to establish businesses and, and employ many people. May God give you an idea to bring others out of poverty and counsel uh, many debts. Ideas counseling debts in your own life. We speak that over your life uh, right now. Uh, the house that you desire, the car that you want to have, the business that you want to uh, create. May God fulfill every dream. May you also make sure that all your needs are always uh, taken care of. Well, God bless you. It's been a great service uh, thus far. Please stay tuned right now uh, for the upcoming announcements as well as also for uh, the acknowledgement of our birthdays and uh, anniversaries. And hey, the word of God is about to come in just a moment. But get ready as we dive one more time into the thing perfectly perfect. Good morning. Welcome to Zion Temple Church. If this is your first or your second time here with us, we welcome you. It's always nice to see a new name pop up on the screen. My name is Xavier and I will be doing your Sunday morning announcements. <laughs> announcements we love to start off with birthdays and anniversaries so this week we love to wish a happy birthday to Jalen Sapp, Sincere King, Bob Barsacy, Jasmine Edwards, Malika Johnson, Denise Anderson, and Ashley Rosette. We would also love to wish a happy anniversary to all those out there who are celebrating. Did you guys know that we're having a virtual Sunday school? That's right, every Sunday morning on Zoom, we are having a virtual Sunday school from 8.30 a.m. to 9.30 a.m. The Zoom meeting link ID is 854-450-17820. Again, that's 854-450-17820. It'll also be down below in case you missed it. March 3rd is our next corporate fast. We fast from midnight until 4 p.m. March 10th is our next Minister Alliance session. March 14th is our next Daylight Saving Sign, so set your clocks. And March 17th is our next senior luncheon. More information is forthcoming. And this concludes your morning announcements. Always remember that the Jesus in me loves Jesus in you. Bye. <laughs> Thank you.
welcome. We are so happy you have joined us here for our Sunday celebration here at Zion Temple Church to praise and worship the awesomeness of God because he is so good and we hope that you have enjoyed the service thus far. Now do we have any new viewers for the first time? We'll call you guests. If you are, please in the comment section if you could put a V, give us some thumbs up or some hearts. We welcome you. We welcome you. Now for any events happening at Zion, we want to let you know that you can find out any Thing on our social media pages or you can call the office at 410-725-8730. Again, that's 410-725-8730 and someone will be so happy to answer any questions you might have about any events that's going on at Zion. Now we have a motto here at Zion and that motto is, it's a new day in Zion and because you have joined us today at our Sunday celebration, it's going to be a new day in you and that word is still to come. Now Zion, this this is your time to shine. Let's welcome our guests, welcome each other. Let them know we're so happy they are joining us for our virtual service. And I want to leave you with, we speak shalom over your life. Have a wonderful day and a super week. In Jesus' name, stay encouraged. Amen. Let the elders that rule well be counted worthy of double honor. Worshipper, preacher, teacher, seer, author, prophet, intercessor, apostle, mentor, friend, psalmist, interpreter, entrepreneur, counselor, and theologian par excellence. Dr. L. Lamont Turner has served the body of Christ for over four decades, with half of them now serving as senior pastor of Zion Temple Church Incorporated. On February 2, 2001, Elder Lamont Turner was overwhelmingly elected as the fourth pastor of Zion Temple. The ministry was exactly 50 years established, receiving this vibrant 27-year-old intellect, heralding from the mountains of Kingsport, Tennessee. Over the course of the past 20 years, Zion has soared at the helm of this mastermind visionary. His passion, dedication, impeccable work ethic, relentless pursuit of God, and undeniable anointing has drastically impacted Harford County and its surrounding regions. He hit the ground running, and in the first decade of his pastorate, Zion saw the birth of the Zion Temple Academy, a K-8 Christian school offering GED as well as drug and alcohol recovery programs, Camp ZTC with before and after care, Rescue One Incorporated, and the Clara V. Croxell House of Hope, community development corporations with transitional housing for families, P-150 Dance Ministry, MSG Mime, Beats of Praise, the annual worship conference, the live recording of Zion's first album, We Love to Worship, Zion Theological School, the School of Prophets, and Kingdom Living Classes. He's had an undeniable community influence with the generous offering of ESL Community Courses, Praise Fest Back to School Community Day, Zion's participation in the Havity Grace Parade, community food drives, and even holding an elected seat as Havity Grace Fire Chaplain. Dr. Turner propelled Zion into a new day, which resulted in an explosive growth in membership and created the demand of three services per Sunday, a bilingual service, and three Bible classes every Tuesday. Through his ecumenical acumen, Zion took on a global reach with the exposure of international missions to support and establish ministries in the continents of Africa, Asia, and South America. With his progressive perspective and peaceable spirit, he fostered fellowships with other cultures, including Jewish brethren, and mounted national platforms like the Word Network. As he graciously moved into his second decade of his pastorate, 
Zion evolved into a ministry for the whole man. The men of valor, women of dignity, champions for Christ, ladies of his grace, and fashioned for destiny all flourished and grew. The launch of a church nursery and children's church. Escape 180, youth ministry boomed featuring Fresh Fire Coffee House Nights, Friday Night Live, Back to School Arena Club events, and After Church Sports Fellowships and formed the Church Fitness Club, the Move Campaign, and Zion's own bike -a Dr. Turner also gave platform to the marriage between the arts and ministry with his provocative interactive sermons to visually and tangibly illustrate the Word of God. Events like the Roaring Twenties Azusa reenactment, International Sundays, Unorthodox Vacation Bible Schools, and Worship in Arts Paint Ministry all added to the richness of Zion's culture. His passion for knowledge rebranded Zion as an educational lighthouse and training ground to cultivate gifts through connect groups, the I Ask Before I Care campaign, Ministerial Alliance, the annual leadership empowerment retreat with his notorious playbook, and by providing career training with community service hours and employment opportunities, giving dozens a head start to their professional careers. From 501 Legion Drive, through a four-year wilderness journey, to the 2017 building acquisition of 1304 Business Center Way, God graced Dr. Turner to navigate difficult waters while laboring to keep the church family unified with holiday celebrations like the annual Chris Christmas banquet and taking time to honor Zion seniors, civic workers, military veterans, educators, and many more. Most recently, he's had the daunting task of leading Zion into the digital age and skillfully navigating the ministry through a global pandemic with the expansion of media from its first website to a robust social media presence and an e-church membership stretching across several states. Because of one man's yes to God and drive to educate, edify, and evangelize, Zion is positioned for the future with a mindset to dominate and conquer the promised land. Dr. Turner, God is not unjust so as to overlook your work and the love that you have shown for his name in serving the saints. Therefore, be steadfast, unmoved, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain. Wow, uh, that is uh, amazing, and I am uh, deeply humbled by the, uh, the the video tribute. That was my first time uh, actually seeing it, and uh, so I tried to uh, comply with, with the <laughs> requests of those uh, our creative team and those who were uh, responsible for that. And, and so, um, thank you all for your, your kindness, and thank you for the uh, that that uh, wonderful uh, tribute. Uh, is uh, yeah. Uh, thank you, guys. I certainly appreciate that. It's been, I, I, it is an honor, an honor to be able to uh, to serve, an honor to be able to uh, you know do what we do. And uh, uh, thank you all for for your your support uh, over the years. I, I do realize uh, that we could not do what we do except uh, you all uh, you know uh, support and uh, join in and and and, and participate uh, along the way. So again. Uh, thank you all uh, so much. Uh, there is um, much to be done. There's much, much work uh, to do, uh, and we're going to get out there. We're, we're going to get it done uh, for the Lord. Uh, the promise lies ahead of us, uh, and we must work the work of him uh, that has sent us by this day. That's what the scripture says, for night cometh, and no man uh, can work. Uh, and so, again, uh, thank you all uh, for the love. Uh, thank you for uh, just the, the, the wonderful uh, attributes. 
Um, uh, Sister Evangelist Goins uh, had, about a year ago, um, had kept uh, on and on asking, could she do something to, uh, to support this? And, and so she had a, a, her, her team together uh, to join in and make that happen. Uh, and so thank you to each of you uh, who have joined in. Um, there's some pictures from a while ago. I'm not even sure where all those came from. Uh, but thank you all. Thank you for the creation of the video. Thank you for uh, the kind sentiments and, and all that. We really do appreciate uh, each one of you. Well, uh, let's get together. Let's, let's get into the word of God. Uh, the word of the Lord uh, is, is a must. Man shall not live by bread alone. Uh, but by every word that proceeds from uh, the mouth of God. Uh, and so uh, let's prepare ourselves for what we're going to get ready in, in the word of God right now. Well, God bless you all today. It is great to uh, be able to uh, come together uh, to worship the Lord. And I'm excited today about the word of God. Come on, go with me in the word of the Lord found in 1 Peter chapter 5. 1 Peter, uh, the fifth chapter. Today, we're going to read verses 6 uh, through 11. That's 1 Peter, chapter 5, verse number 6 through verse number 11. Let's go into where the Lord it says this. Humble yourself under the mighty hand of God, so that at the proper time, he, God, may exalt you, casting all your anxieties on him, because he cares for you. Be sober-minded, be watchful. Your adversary, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, seeking someone to devour. Resist him, firm in your faith, knowing that the same kinds of, of sufferings are being experienced by your brotherhood throughout the world. And after you have suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, confirm, strengthen, and settle you. To him be dominion forever and ever. Amen. I want to uh, draw your attention to the, the, the tenth verse. Uh, and it says, after you've suffered a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory, will restore, will confirm, will strengthen, and establish you. Uh, the, the last time for, for this month, I want to uh, speak on uh, the topic, imperfectly perfect, imperfectly Perfect. Let's pray. Father, thank you today. Thank you for uh, this word. Thank you for what this word has meant to us uh, this month. Thank you, God, that you look upon creatures who are like us, imperfect, broken beings, but yet, Lord, you still love, you still are concerned about, and you, God, uh, will work a work in us, hallelujah, uh, to be able to strengthen us, that we are, we're strengthened, that we are, uh, we're established, God, that we're, that we're stronger, we're fortified, and we're able to complete and do that which you ask of us. May your name be praised, oh God. We'll bless you now and forevermore. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Well, uh, again, I, I want to talk to you from uh, the, our theme uh, for this month, and that is imperfectly perfect. Imperfectly perfect. The, the believer's life in Christ is the, the ascended life. Again, the believer's life in Christ is the, the ascended life. Now, what we must not ignore is that uh, although our life is uh, spiritual, we have natural experiences. Again, Although our life is spiritual, we have natural experiences. As a matter of fact, the reality is, although this is, in fact, a spiritual life, it is very much so equally also a natural life as well. And that natural life has spiritual 
influences. The natural life has spiritual influence. That, brothers and sisters, is the kingdom of God. And when we consider God's kingdom, the thing that must be understood is that God's kingdom is not exclusive. God's kingdom is all-inclusive. Again, God's kingdom is not exclusive. Uh, God's kingdom is all-inclusive. It literally encompasses all that's in the universe. The reality of this, and this may uh, take a moment to process in your mind, all that's within the entire universe uh, belongs to God. Uh, the scripture tells us the earth is the Lord's, the fullness thereof, the world and they that dwell uh, therein. So all is the Lord. All belongs uh, to him. God is the governing authority over everything. Romans, the 13th chapter says, the powers that be, they themselves belong uh, to God. Uh, the, 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 the struggle, though, is uh, how we look at uh, factions, disturbances, uh, the, the influence of evil in the world. Yes, in fact, the scripture shows us that in the kingdom of God, there is uh, insurgents. There are, are conflicts within the kingdom of God. Uh, there are, there are uh, battles within the kingdom of God. There is warfare that exists within the kingdom of God. Now, the, the, the beauty of this is that the scripture shows the overarching concept is that Christ has already won the victory over everything. Everything that exists in life, Christ has won uh, the victory uh, over. Yet, the Lord allows us to go from uh, grace to grace, from glory to glory. Uh, God allows us to go from uh, perfection to perfection. In other words, uh, each of us are in a continual process of growth and development. Please understand that. Every single person uh, is in a process of growth and development. Now, what is to be understood uh, about God? is that although he is the, the sovereign king uh, overall, we cannot ignore uh, the ability of the Lord or the will of God to have human agencies uh, to make decisions. Each of us, uh, God has established as a human agent in the earth. He has given us volition, the ability to be able to choose what we will do and what we will not do what we'll act on, and what we shall refuse. So then, uh, while we are transmigrating through life, as well as also as we are matriculating to, through the kingdom of God, the decision to grow in God is based upon my willingness to grow in him. Please get that shout of God. Our ability to be able to grow in God is based upon the, our willingness to want to grow in God. God, hear me, child of God, does not force his will upon you. Neither uh, does God force growth upon you. God does not force salvation upon you. God does not force the anointing upon you either. Uh, neither does God force a purpose and or also destiny upon you. God has uh, chosen in his sovereign plan a will for each person. God has chosen in his sovereign plan glory, uh, a destin, uh, destiny for each person. That's why uh, he would speak to uh, Jeremiah and give words to his people. The Lord says, I, God talking, I know the plans I have uh, for your life. Glory to God. God says, I know the plans I have for your life. God says, I have plans to prosper you. 
not to harm you. Plans to bring you to an expected end. So child of God, you must see. The plan of God is not to harm you. Neither is the will of God to harm you. God knows his plan that he has for each life. Every single person, God has a plan. Now, when we see that, God is very explicit about the outcome of his plan. God says, I know that what I have for your life, I have plans to prosper you. I have plans for your benefit. I have plans for your productivity. I do not have plans to harm you. So uh, it must be understood that every human ex who exists upon the face of the earth, whether they decide to serve God or not, God has not willed uh, to make anyone's life miserable. God has not willed uh, to harm or, or to bring harm to any person that, that exists. God says, I have plans to prosper you, not to harm you. God says, uh, as a matter of fact, I don't even want you to fall short. I call Tebe Shanda. I don't want you to fall short of where I want to take you or for the plan I had for your life. Uh, my plan is that you reach your destiny in. My plan, God says, is that you might come to fullness. My plan, God shows, is to ensure that the outcome is secured. Glory to God. God says, my plan is to ensure that the outcome is secured. In other words, the Lord says, I will do everything necessary to make sure that you get to the place I have determined for you. God shows, I am, am, am making sure that I'll put buffers in place to ensure that you get there. Uh, how do we know that that is a plan of God? The Apostle Paul shows in the book of, of Romans, uh, for whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be, <laughs> to be conformed to the image of his son. <clears throat> in other words, the Lord was showing what I'm going to do for you is to make sure that uh, I'll put parameters in your life to ensure that you don't go too far to the right or to the left. I'll put those bumpers in place uh, to help you along the way so that if you are veering too far to the right, I'll put a bumper in place so you'll have to decide. Wait, oh, when the bumper, when you hit that barrier, it's a reminder. Get back on track. God said, I'll put another bumper on your left to ensure that you get to the proper destination. Why God? For the Lord wants to ensure that you reach the proper destination. Glory to God. He, God, is doing everything that he can uh, to ensure that what he has invested in you is not squandered, neither is that thing tainted. God wants to ensure that where he will bring you to will be fulfilled. Why? Because his name is on the line. That is why, brothers and sisters, uh, David says to us in Psalm uh, 23 uh, that when I'm exhausted, he leads me beside uh, still waters because he knows at that point, uh, I'm already uh, exasperated. So he leads me gently along the way. But at uh, the other times, uh, he will lead me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Glory to God. The name of God is on my life and on my destiny. And so there David says, what God will do uh, here He's leading me, but this is a, a more disciplined leading. Uh, the first one, when I'm exhausted, uh, when I'm exasperated, he leads me softly because he knows if he drives me too hard, 
word. I'll give up along the way. But David also says there are times, child of God, that the Lord will lead you and that leading along the way uh, is a more stern and a more strict or a more disciplined leading. Why is God doing this? He has to lead you in this way because he has spoken over your life. He has declared a word over your life and that thing must be fulfilled. Yet within all of that, God does not override the will of man. Now he will go out of his way to make sure that you don't Fail. That, that's why the scripture says, now unto him that is able uh, to keep me from falling and to present me faultless. Glory to God. Child of God, I need you to know that the Lord has ensured every possibility that you get to your proper destination and that you fulfill the entire will of God. Yet, when we consider the will of God and the will of man, man must concede to uh, the will uh, of God. Uh, this, this is why uh, Peter says, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. Uh, Peter is declaring it is imperative for each one of us to demonstrate a humility. Why? Because oftentimes in walking out this life and the Lord giving us the leniency uh, to make decisions on our own uh, and to uh, uh, decide which path we choose to take. There are times in our life that we'll get beside ourselves and pride uh, starts to kick in. And then in, the, in those moments, uh, uh, we'll feel like at times even that God doesn't care, that God has nothing to do with uh, what's going on, with that pride in mind, or even at times uh, uh, upset or angry uh, at God. The Lord says, uh, humble yourself, uh, which means to submit or to uh, surrender. Uh, it means to show uh, submissiveness. It, it indicates to be uh, obedient uh, unto uh, that when during uh, this time uh, as a, uh, a child of God uh, that each one of us uh, are choosing purposely uh, to concede to uh, the plan, uh, the will, and the demonstration of uh, Almighty God. Brothers and sisters, it is in that moment uh, that each one of us, uh, when we don't understand, when life seems to be disoriented, that we've got to learn uh, to trust God. Brothers and sisters, uh, one of the things that I've learned, have done, learned to do uh, in life uh, is a scuba dive. And uh, what's, it's the most interesting thing uh, in scuba diving, they actually train you for times when the water uh, is murky. They uh, illustrate uh, there'll be moments where uh, you are diving and uh, the water becomes uh, murky where you are. And in those moments, it can be quite uh, disorienting. Uh, when I took my, my scuba diving uh, uh, exam, uh, what uh, happened was on that, it was in uh, January, believe it or not, at a lake in uh, uh, Pennsylvania. Uh, when I dove uh, that day, the water was 29 degrees, bless God. Uh, when I dove that day, the water was uh, intensely uh, murky. Uh, when I had uh, uh, dove in, I remember diving and looking around, and there was uh, uh, this uh, yellowish uh, uh, water, yellowish green water all around me there uh, in the lake, uh, a yellowish green, kind of brown color. And I'm uh, as I dove in, I had to remember everything that my instructor had said during my training process. Uh, I was going through. Uh, 
uh, time at that moment uh, for certification. But I had to remember what I was taught. Glory be to God. Uh, the instructor said, uh, always remember uh, where when you're in the water, what is north, uh, what is uh, above you because uh, and where you have dove in. And there's a compass that allows you to, to understand it because uh, as you are turning uh, around and over and side to side, it could be extremely uh, disorienting. And he said, remember your instructions, glory to God, and to trust your training. Child of God, uh, it's in those moments that I had to choose uh, to acquiesce what I thought I knew to what uh, I was actually taught and in trusting that I had to submit to uh, the knowledge and the understanding and the foresight the tabosha, of the instructor, a child of God. That would mean this, that the instructor had already been there. Uh, he already knew what it was like to be disoriented. He already knew what it was like to be uh, confused. So he was trying to help me along the way. So he taught me so that when it happened, I would know what to do. Glory to God. Pastor, what are you saying? I'm saying this, that there will be moments in your life where you are disoriented. There will be moments in your life where you are confused, but rely upon what you are taught from God. The Lord said, trust me when you don't know the way. Glory. Trust me when you don't understand why things are happening. Trust me when things seem upside down, inside out. Remember, you walk by tokotandandashe. You walk by faith and not by sight. The just lives by his faith. Glory to God. It's in that moment that you'll have to learn to rely upon what you were taught from God. What the scripture says. Not what Big Mama said. Uh, not what Pop Pop said. But what did God say uh, when this happens? Uh, so humble yourself under the mighty hand of God. The Lord will exalt you when it's, it's necessary. He says then uh, cast your care upon the Lord. Why God cares for you. The concept is in casting you are taking what's in your proximity and you are throwing it away from you. You are saying God here is what's stressing me out. Here is what has me anxious and God is saying it's okay. You can trust me with it. Glory be to God. If you cast it to me. I know how to take care of you. I know how uh, to help you. No wonder the psalmist says, cast your burden on the Lord. He, God, will uh, sustain you. So cast it on the Lord. God has you. He will help you uh, even, yes, uh, uh, through that. And then we find, uh, brothers and sisters, uh, that as we are uh, walking through this life, uh, the scripture says uh, that there will be moments where uh, the devil will show up. Glory to God. Uh, that adversary, the devil, is as a roaring lion uh, seeking whom uh, uh, he may devour. Uh, the devil prowls around uh, looking and, and waiting for uh, your weakness. Uh, he's looking, lurking, uh, uh, trying to uh, intimidate you. Uh, the scripture says uh, he is as a roaring lion. Uh, he wants to ensure that by the sound uh, that he makes uh, that uh, your heart uh, will go in the fear. Uh, he wants to ensure uh, by the looming attack uh, that is pending uh, 
that you give in. Uh, he wants to ensure uh, by the taunt that he is saying that you will say, I can't do this. It's too much. But the scripture says you got to learn, glory. Learn to resist the devil. No wonder James says resist the devil. He'll flee from you. Draw nigh to God. He'll draw nigh to you. Uh, but before uh, James told us uh, to resist the devil, he said uh, uh, submit to God. Where? Glory. Well, once again, we're finding the same thing. Uh, submit to God. Uh, we're told, uh, humble uh, yourself. Uh, we're told, uh, give it to God. Uh, let him handle it. Uh, but the devil's going to come against you. Uh, resist him. Uh, let him know. Uh, I repent. Pews, uh, to be bullied and cast down or backed into a corner. I know uh, who I am and I know the God uh, that I serve. Well, uh, uh, Peter says uh, uh, in his text, uh, uh, Peter begins to show uh, unto us uh, that uh, after you uh, have uh, uh, suffered a while, uh, he wants you to know that whatever you're going through, uh, that times that you'll feel like you're in isolation. But there are times that you'll feel like that this is, uh, uh, I'm the only one uh, who's going through this. Peter says, no, there are others uh, who are in the brotherhood. There are others in the family of God uh, who has experienced uh, the same kind uh, of trouble uh, that you're experiencing. But Peter says, after you have uh, uh, suffered a while, uh, after, after, after uh, you have uh, uh, gone through uh, uh, the turmoil. Uh, after, after, uh, after, glory to God, uh, after you have uh, been tested, uh, after you have uh, been attacked, uh, after you have uh, been ridiculed and mocked, uh, after, uh, after the adversary has harassed you, uh, uh, Peter says, the God of all grace uh, who has uh, called you uh, unto his eternal glory. Uh, it goes back to what I was saying earlier. God has a, a plan uh, for your life. Uh, glory to God. Uh, and the Lord will go out of his way uh, to ensure it. Glory to God. Uh, that I fulfill the plan uh, that he has for me. Uh, uh, the Lord, uh, Peter says, uh, that the Lord himself, uh, after we have uh, gone through and suffered a while, uh, God will uh, uh, restore you, uh, that God will uh, perfect you, uh, God will confirm you, uh, God will strengthen you, uh, and God will settle you. Glory to God. In other words, uh, what Peter was showing uh, is that God will allow you uh, to go through testing, uh, but uh, he has uh, worked it uh, into his plan. Uh, God has worked uh, into his plan uh, the testing of the child of God. God uh, has uh, ensured uh, that even though you're tested, uh, I need you to know I'm, I'm with you. Uh, that even though uh, uh, you're going through the valley of the shadow of death, uh, I have approved you uh, before you went into it. Uh, how can this be? Uh, the word of God says uh, uh, in Isaiah, uh, God says, I know uh, uh, the end from the beginning. Uh, remember, uh, well, when God was speaking to Jeremiah, God said, I know the plans uh, I have for your life. Uh, but he uses Isaiah to say uh, that I know uh, uh, the end from the beginning. Uh, and not a word, not a word uh, that I've spoken about you uh, will return to me void. Uh, Pastor, what you're talking about? Uh, well, uh, the Lord says uh, that uh, I have already looked uh, uh, at 
got the end and I know what the outcome is. I know what your destiny is. So since I know your destiny, what I have done is place you at the proper beginning. Glory to God. The Lord knows where and what you should look like in the end. But to ensure that the outcome comes out like it's supposed to be. Glory. God has put you at the proper beginning. Glory to God. Which means he will not confuse your beginning with mine or mine with yours. He has you at the proper beginning to ensure the correct outcome. But he also knows that through through the testing that there are times he'll have to reshape you. There are times there are times he'll have to mold you again and that's where Jeremiah comes in and Jeremiah said well the Lord took me down to the potter's house glory and when I came to the potter's house I saw I saw a vessel that he worked on the wheel and as he worked it on the wheel I noticed I noticed that there were flaws in the vessel and the potter began to shape it in his hand. Glory. The potter knew what the outcome was to be. So he had to break it down sometimes. That's all right. Uh, he had he had to press in at times. But the more he pressed, the higher we begin to rise. The more, the more he shaped. Because he knew in his mind the outcome. Pastor, what you're saying, I'm saying this. That God already knew the flaws that you had. God already knew. He knew the bad decisions that we would make. God knew. He knew the bad company that we would keep. God already knew. He knew the places that we would go, that we would have no business being there. And he Turn it in. Uh, glory to God. Uh, to ensure your destiny. <laughs> glory to God. Uh, so you are the vessel uh, in the hands of the potter. Uh, and he's working. Uh, glory to God. Uh, he's working it out. Uh, so I'm saying to you today. Uh, stay. Stay uh, right there. Uh, stay. Stay uh, where you're supposed to be. Uh, let the potter shape you. Uh, let the potter work in you. Uh, and you might say, but pastor, I failed uh, that test. Uh, and I failed uh, this test. Uh, I'm saying get back on the wheel. Uh, let the potter glory uh, begin to shape you. Uh, he has he has uh, a plan in mind. Uh, he has uh, he has uh, glory uh, a desired outcome. Uh, he has uh, he has uh, glory to God. Uh, a design uh, for a vessel of honor uh, and that is you. Uh, so he knew uh, that he'd have to break you down from time to time. Uh, he knew you'd make bad decisions uh, from time to time. He knew you'd be tested uh, from time to time. Uh, and he allowed you uh, to veer off uh, from time to time. Uh, so he could start to shape in you. Uh, because he knew uh, there's going to come a day uh, where they'll finally say, wait a minute. Uh, I've been wasting too much time. Uh, there'll come a day uh, where they'll say, uh, I can't keep doing this to my life. Uh, can't keep doing this in my mind. Uh, can't keep doing Doing this to God. I can't keep doing this in my ministry. I'm destroying where I'm supposed to go. God knew in his sovereignty and his omniscience glory. He knew there'd be a moment where the light would go off and the epiphany would occur and you would decide. I'm going to walk with God. I'm going to keep living for him. So I'm saying 
saying to you today, yes, you might be broken, but get back on the wheel. God's going to shape glory to God. His desired plan in your life. Yes, yes, yes. There may be moments where you feel brittle and it's all collapsing. Get back on the wheel. Glory to God. The Lord has a plan in mind for you. And although you're flawed, he still loves you. Although you're broken, he still loves you. Although you're bruised, he still loves you. Although you're bleeding, he still loves you. Although you're hurting, he still loves you. Although you're imperfect, glory to God. You are imperfectly perfect. You are, you are, you are the candidate, the perfect one for God to use. You might not sound like everybody, but he still wants to use you. You might not look like everybody, but he still wants to use you. Your background may not be like others. He still wants to use you. Your praise may be different from others, but he still wants to use you. You may not be able uh, uh, to carry a tune. Uh, God still, he still uh, wants to use you. You may not be able uh, to dance like others. Uh, God still uh, wants to use you. Uh, your history, glory, uh, your history uh, may be maligned uh, and tainted uh, and scandalous, uh, but he still, uh, he still uh, wants to use you. Uh, yes, He's going to get the glory by Tando. He'll get the glory out of your life. He's going to get the glory out of your praise. He's going to get the glory out of your sin. He'll get the glory out of your fall. He'll get the glory out of your mistake. He's going to get the glory out of your pain. He'll get the glory out of your brokenness. He'll get the glory out of your hurting. He'll get the glory out of your bleeding. And when God, that Tando, when God he heals, when he delivers, when he makes a way, glory. And when God's finished, when he's finished with you, you'll be stronger now. When he's finished, when he's finished with you, you'll be perfected. When he's finished, you'll be settled. When God, when God is finished with you, hallelujah, you'll be a vessel of honor under him. Get back on the wheel. Let the master let him shape you. Get back in the church. Let your life be an example under others. Get up. If you're fallen, run back to the Lord. His arms are wide open and he's waiting. Run, child. Run, child. He's waiting. He's waiting. He's been waiting on you. Glory. And he still, he still wants to use you. Glory to God. Yes, he does. He still. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Glory to God. And he still, God still, he still wants to use you. There's still purpose for your life. There's still destiny for you. Yes, it is. There's still a place. There's still a place where God wants to take you. And it's still there. It's still there. You just got to decide. I'm going to keep living for him. I'm, I'm a mess right now. But get up. Come on. Get up. Hallelujah. Go back to him. Your father loves you. Find yourself. Back on the wheel, let God shape you, let him mold you. Yeah, let God break down, let him break down everything that's not like him. Break it down, God, break it down. Glory to God, let him use you. Thank you, Jesus. Can we pray together? Let's do that, come on, let's pray, let's pray together. Hallelujah, glory to God. Can we do that? Let's pray, let's pray uh, together. In the name of the Lord Jesus, glory to God. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Let's pray together now. In Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus, yes, Lord, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. Hallelujah. And he still wants to use you. God still has a plan for your life. There is a, a purpose. There is a, a destiny uh, for you. God has determined that for you. I don't care what it looks like. I don't care what you uh, have gone through. Uh, the Lord has a, a plan uh, for you. His purpose is uh, forever uh, settled, and, and he's going to work out. He's going to work it out for you. You've got to decide. I'm getting back on, on the wheel. Glory to God. I, I'm going to allow God uh, to begin to, to work out the process in me. Uh, you got to understand, he knew you from the foundation of the world. Glory to God. And he's already factored it all in mind. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, glory to God. Here we are, Lord. Here we are in your presence, oh God. Here we are, oh, oh God. God, we, we need you today. We need your, we need your help, God. God. We need your power. We need your love. Glory to God. Your word says that the love covers a multitude of sin. And today, in the name of the Lord Jesus, God, we were looking at, at your people. We were looking at, our, at ourselves. And God, we have to agree, Lord, with your word. Oh, God. There is no righteousness in us. It's only, Lord, in you. So we need you today. Our righteousness, God, is as filthy rags. Oh, God. There's so many times, Lord, that it's the, it's the little things, God, that we ignore that I keep destroying us, God. It's, it's the little foxes, as, as Solomon says, that destroy the vine. Oh, God. Pride keeps killing us, God. Envy keeps killing us, Lord. Jealousy, Lord, is destroying us, God. Self-will, God, is destroying us. Oh, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, here we are today, and we're running to you, Jesus. Yes, hallelujah. There you are, with arms wide open. There you are. There you are. Hallelujah. With a love that is so deep and so genuine. Oh, God, today. Hallelujah. Lord, we run to you, Jesus. God, we run to you, God. And Lord, we're getting back on the wheel. Shape us, God, into the image that you desire. Mold us, oh God. Hallelujah. Into a vessel of honor. Forgive us of our sins. Oh, God. God, and as your word says, though our sin be as scarlet, thank you, you shall wash us whiter than snow. God, today, we appeal to your love. We appeal, God, to your kindness. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus, we confess our sins. Wash us today. Cleanse us today. Renew us today. Oh, God, that's broken us. Repair us, oh, God. Hallelujah. We're brittle. Oh, God, repair us, oh, God. We're wounded. Repair us, oh, God. We're blessed. Leading. Prepare us, oh God. Hallelujah. We need you, Jesus. Father, I pray today, God, for that person. Yes, Lord. They've got tears in their eyes right now. God, as we're praying in this prayer, I see it, God. Hallelujah. Come on, child of God. Break through now. Break through now, my Dios, hallelujah, Yanabakande, let it go, come on, let it go, let it go right now, let it go right now, in the name of the Lord Jesus, he's restoring you, yes he is, glory to God, glory to God, let him refill you right now, yes Lord, yes Lord, lay it all down, lay it down now, 
in the name of Jesus. The Father loves you. His arms are set, hallelujah, right in your direction. Father, thank you for a love, oh God, that repairs the broken. Thank you for a love, oh God, that forgives the sinner. Thank you, God, for a love, God, that reconciles the backslider. Thank you, God. Thank you, hallelujah, for finding us. Thank you for reaching, God, in our direction. And thank you for your patience. Hallelujah. Thank you for your patience. You've been patient with us when others were writing us off. You were patient with us. Hallelujah. And Father, I thank you today. I thank you, Father. Thank you for your perfect love that loves imperfect people. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Now raise your people up. Hallelujah. To fulfill the destiny, the plan that you had in mind. Thank you, God. No devil can stop it. No enemy can stop it. No attack of the adversary can stop it. No mocking or ridicule or smear by the enemy can stop it. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. We believe it, Jesus, today. We stand on that God today. And we embrace it now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Father. His love is perfect. His love is genuine. Thank you, Jesus. That's our God. That's his love. It's the words he keeps one of us. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. We want to take this moment right now. Wherever you are, just begin to lift those hands and worship him. Just begin to love on him right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. And you might be saying, I'm, I'm not worthy, I'm not worthy. But come on, lift those hands right now in Jesus' name. The Father is restoring you. Yes, glory to God. The Father is restoring you right now. He is restoring you right now. Oh my, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I know, I see it. Glory to God. Glory to God. You feel ashamed of what you've done. Thank you, Lord. But the Lord knew that. He knew it from the foundation of the world. He knew what you would do, and He loved you anyway. Glory to God. He loves you anyway. Glory to God. Others might be mad at you. They may be frustrated with you. They may want nothing to do with you. But your Heavenly Father has not written you off. Glory to God. He still loves you. He still has a plan for you. And what He determined for your life. Hallelujah. He has not rewritten. Glory to God. What He has determined shall be fulfilled. Glory to God. Just decide today that the Lord you're running back to him. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Glory to God. What a wonderful love. What a wonderful love. Hallelujah. What a wonderful love. Glory. What a wonderful love. Hallelujah. Hey, glory. What a wonderful love. What a wonderful love. It's a restored kind of love. Ah, uh, it's a transformative kind of love. Oh, glory. It's a pursuant. It's a pursuant kind of love. He didn't give up on you. Glory. He has not. He has not given up on you. He has not. Yeah. His love's still chasing you. It's still chasing you. I need you to know God's still in love with you. Glory. He's still in love with you. Oh, hallelujah. He's still in love with you. Yes, he is. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. What a wonderful God. <laughs> what a wonderful God. I praise him today. Glory to God. Glory to Jesus. Hallelujah. I want to, hallelujah. I want to pray for you today. I want to pray for you. Thank you, Jesus. I'm going to be with you. I'm going to pray for you today. Uh, we can take this moment right now. Whatever that, that prayer request is, uh, come on and uh, put that prayer request in, in the comment section. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. I'm, I want to pray with you. I want to pray for you uh, today. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Let him restore you. Come on. Let him restore you. Let him restore you. 
you may have back to him and let him restore you. Let him restore you right now. That's what he's doing. Oh, my. Oh, my. Ah, glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Let him refuel you right now. Let him refuel you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yeah, I don't, glory. I, I don't know why you're holding back on speaking in the tongues. Glory is right there in your mouth. Glory to God. Just begin to speak in a heavenly language right now. Glory. You'll, you'll, you will feel the burden begin to lift off of you. Glory to God. Let him refuel you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. We're praying, yes, we're praying for uh, uh, Denise Anderson. We're praying for the Robinson family. We're praying for uh, Ellie Willie Williams and Mr. Melvin Taylor. We're praying for uh, Lee and Rita Wainwright. Uh, we're praying for uh, Juanita James. Uh, yes, Lord. We're praying for Eric Garrett the second. As God is still moving, we agree with you. Uh, since the angel of the Lord is still moving, he is still moving. Thank you, Lord. And we're praying for broken families. Yes, devil, we're praying with your, your family today. We're praying for physical and mental and spiritual healing. We want to the family worship center. Yes. Lord, what a God, we're praying for you. We're praying for, for Pastor T. Uh, remember the Demet family who is still grieving. We're praying for the Carter family for a, a, a restoration of God and the grace of God in the name of Jesus. We're praying for Tamika, Therese, and Sabrina. We're praying for Tracy Palmer, Larry, and Gretchen Robertson. We're praying for uh, Alvin for his soul and health. In the name of the Lord Jesus, we're praying for uh, Martha Wallingford. We're completely healing, healing in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord, we're praying for uh, Alvin uh, Smith and his wife, uh, uh, Doretha Smith. We're praying, yes, in the name of, uh, of the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. DeAndre Mitchell, we're praying for, we're praying for the, the, the Kello family. We're praying for uh, Lamont Beard in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. We're praying for Keith Davis uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. There is no distance that our God, there is no place that he is not. Uh, glory to God. What he has promised, he will fulfill. Glory to God. We're praying for the Fagans and the James uh, family. We're praying for those who have lost a loved one. We're praying for them now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Yes, Lord. He is more than able. More than able. Yes, Tanya. Tyler, we're praying for you. We're praying for your healing. Uh, while you're in the hospital, yes, we're praying for you. The Lord will uh, touch your body and heal. Uh, we're praying for the, the healed family now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. All right. We're praying for Tyrese here on our YouTube. Yes, we are. Uh, we're praying for you, Tyrese. We're praying for your family uh, as well. We got a closer uh, relationship with God. Yes, glory to God. And yes, I want you to know that uh, Tyrese, that you, 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 God wants your heart. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. And the Lord will touch you right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I pray, touch Tyrese right now. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I pray, touch him, touch mentally right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, God, touch emotionally right now, God. Repair. Oh, God, restore. Let your love draw near. Let your love, God, draw near right now in the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, I thank you for doing that. Glory be to Jesus. Glory to Jesus. We pray for the bereaving family. We pray for those who, uh, who have passed. Uh, those families who have lost someone. The, the Smothers uh, family. For the Carter family. Uh, for Andrea uh, Higgins. Yes, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Father, I thank you right now for every person who is has placed a, a prayer request in. You know each name. You know each situation. You, God, you know each person. And perhaps, God, if there was a name or, or, or a prayer request that somehow that we missed because so many were coming in, you know each one. Oh, God. 
And so, Father, right now, I bring them all up to you. I lay them, oh Jesus, at your altar. God, you are the healer. You are the deliverer. You are the provider. You are the way maker. God, you are the savior. Glory to God. You are the counselor. God, you are the friend. Father, I thank you for that right now in Jesus' name. Oh God, for those, God, God whose emotions, Lord, that just up and down. We got that person who perhaps is right now that's suffering, God, from emotional trauma. God, that their emotional health, God, seems to be like extremely low. Jesus, I thank you today, glory to God, for you are our helper, and you promise to come alongside and to help your people. And so, Father, stand with us. Stand by us, oh God. Jesus, stand in us today. Father, I pray in Jesus' name. You said, cast all of our cares on you. You care for us. You said, God, to cast our anxieties, cast our burdens on you. Now, Jesus, I pray that you would restore the emotions, restore the mental health right now in the name of Jesus. Stabilize, I do pray. In the name of the Lord Jesus, Father, I thank you right now for that person, Lord, who's, who's addicted. Oh, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus. God, you are the one. You can break every yoke. Thank you, Jesus. You break every yoke. You break every fetter in the name of Jesus. So, God, that person who's listening to me now, God, who is a, a hooked on drugs, who's hooked on alcohol, God, who's hooked on marijuana, God, in the name of the Lord Jesus, God, who's hooked on prescription drugs, oh, God, in the name of Jesus, let your power, glory, let your power destroy the yoke now. Father, I've seen you do it. Manasha, I have seen you in a moment's time. Oh, God, change the taste, God. I've seen you. I've seen you, God, in a moment's time. Deliver with no side effects. God, I've seen you. I've seen you. Oh, God, deliver with no withdrawals or no cravings. Father, I thank you now, glory, for that person who's crying out to you. Deliver them right now. I thank you, God. You're doing it by the blood of Jesus, the power of Jesus, the name of Jesus, the blood of Jesus delivers you right now. Glory to God. Father, I thank you. I thank you, God, today. I thank you, oh, God, for saving somebody right now to receive with the Holy Ghost. Glory to God. They're speaking with tongues right now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Receive it right now in Jesus' name. Father, thank you. Somebody right now is being restored. Thank you, Lord, for restoring. Thank you for restoration right now. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. You're lifting the burden now. Glory to God. I praise you today. God, I thank you, Lord, for being the comforter. You are the comforter, Lord. So I thank you for comforting. God, you, you understand all trauma and all grief. So thank you, Father, for being the God of all comfort today. Glory to God. Glory to God. And Lord, you are the healer. So we praise you, God, right now for moving, Lord, in every hospital room. God, in every, by every bedside. In the name of Jesus, God, I thank you for coming right now to where they are and repairing cells. Oh, God, and, and repairing muscles. And God, getting in the bloodstream. Oh, God, I'm purified. I thank you for unclogging arteries right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus, God, I thank you, God, for speed recoveries, Lord. Glory to God. I thank you, Lord. I thank you, Jesus. I thank you for delivering from diabetes and high blood pressure. Oh, God, and from cancer. Glory to God. And from liver failure. And from kidney failure. And from heart failure. Oh, God. Oh, God. Somebody's listening right now. God, they got pancreatic cancer. But you are the healer. Glory. God, I pray in Jesus' name. Every mass be removed. Glory to God. Somebody listening, God. God is about to have an aneurysm. But in the name of Jesus, Lord, I thank you today. I thank you, God. I thank you. I thank you for clearing, oh, God, every vein. Oh, God, I thank you, God, for the blood flowing to the brain properly. 
thank you, God, today. Glory to God. Every clot is removed right now in Jesus' name. God, I thank you, Lord, today. God, I give you praise. God, I give you praise for what you're doing, Jesus. You're the healer. You're the deliverer. You're the way maker. That's who you are. We're going to praise you for the rest of our days. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. What a wonderful God he is. What a great God he is. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God for that person suffering from vertigo right now. In Jesus' name. Glory to God. God, remove every symptom. Glory to God in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Restore God the equilibrium. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Remove God every headache. Glory to God. In the name of Jesus. Restore the hearing and the vision now. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Well, I thank you, God, today. God, we believe it is so, and we know it is now. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. What a wonderful God He is. What a wonderful Savior uh, He is. Uh, he makes ways out of no way. He delivers. Glory to God. And we thank Him today. Just rejoicing in the moment. Just rejoice in the moment right now. As God is doing it in uh, our lives. Thank, Father, we thank you today. God, we thank you today. It is so. Thank you, Lord. It is so in Jesus' name. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Uh, it is so. And we thank God. We thank God today uh, for what he is doing. <clears throat> thank you, Lord. And also for what he uh, has done. It has been a great service and we're grateful for all that God is doing. Uh, it's been a great moment uh, just to be able to, uh, to worship God uh, together, uh, to praise him, to bless him uh, for his goodness and for uh, his kindness. Names are still coming in. Yes, and we're, we're believing God for every person. We're believing God uh, for every person, every name. Glory to God. Glory to God. We're believing the Lord for every person, every name. Glory to God. Thank you for every request, Lord. We believe God for that right now. We believe the Lord for that uh, right now. Thank you, Lord. <clears throat> Don't forget uh, Tuesday's uh, Bible study uh, at 12 noon. Tuesday's Bible study at 12 noon. We're still uh, in, into our third lesson in the this, this series, uh, The Lord Said, or, or Was That Me? So you don't want to miss uh, Tuesday's uh, lesson. As we get into the, the Bible shows us in, in the book of Job uh, that the Lord is, is actually written in the text. The Lord speaks uh, through dreams and visions. The Lord speaks through dreams and visions. And so on this Tuesday, we're going to get into how God speaks through dreams, how God speaks through visions. And we'll also talk about trances as well, um, uh, how God uses those uh, to send messages to his people so that it begin to help you, those who, who do dream or have visions, um, and or also perhaps have had trances uh, to help you understand uh, what's going on, uh, how that, that's working, to distinguish between uh, when it is a soulless dream or when it is a God dream or when it is a demonic dream. We want to kind of share with you the difference so you'll know. Uh, a lot of times we're confusing and it's, uh, we can distinguish easily between a demonic dream and from the others. But sometimes we have a hard time distinguishing between a soulless dream uh, and a godly dream. So we're going to help you because every dream that we have is not necessarily from God. Uh, so we're going to help you understand when it is you that's dreaming and when God is speaking through the dream uh, as well to help you navigate uh, the process. So don't forget that. It's going to be a great time uh, as we uh, gather together on this coming uh, Tuesday uh, is our uh, at noon, 12 noon Tuesday uh, is our Bible study time. And then uh, at uh, 7 p.m. Uh, is our, our kingdom conversations. What an amazing time we, we, we have had 
uh, just kind of going through and sharing conversations with, with different individuals. Hey, if you missed last Tuesday's uh, Kingdom Conversations, uh, you need to go back and look at that once again. What a tremendous time, what a tremendous time we had uh, with Courtney as she shared uh, about nutrition. Uh, and so you want to go back and view that. Uh, she is an instructor at East Carolina State University. Uh, so she has written numerous articles. So this is, uh, and I, we get you, we love each one of you because you're skilled in your job. God bless you, yes. Uh, but it's always great to hear from an expert, uh, someone who is uh, skilled in the field. Uh, and so um, you want to go back and, and view that. What a tremendous insight. Uh, she did a, a, busted a whole lot of myths, a whole lot of myths. And so go back and, and check that out uh, again. Uh, God bless you. Yes, uh, uh, again, uh, yes, Evangelist Goins, I see you're, you're congratulating. Thank you for leading uh, the uh, team of people uh, to put together the, uh, the, the, that video and the, uh, the tribute. I am deeply honored uh, just by uh, your, uh, each of you all, uh, your uh, comments, commendation, uh, all of that. It's just uh, been a tremendous blessing. Uh, to uh, to witness uh, and so thank you again uh, for that uh, you guys are absolutely amazing uh, and I so appreciate uh, what you've done uh, and the collaborative effort to for it to, for it to take to put that uh, together uh, and the wording all of it was just uh, so touching so thank you thank you uh, so much well uh, we have come to the end of this service. Hey, don't forget next Sunday. Next Sunday is our in-person service. Yes, next Sunday. Woo-hoo. In-person service next Sunday. Can you believe it? Yes. Glory to God. In-person service uh, next Sunday. All right. Uh, I still look young. Praise God. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Uh, I think I saw earlier someone say that it looks like I'm... I'm I'm aging backwards. I guess that's, that's the whole Benjamin Button button thing. So <laughs> thank you, Lord. Uh, so be it uh, in Jesus' name. Glory to God. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, so may the Lord, you know, preserve and keep us and hold us and with all that, all that wonderful stuff. Amen. Uh, uh, my, uh, my girl will be 100 this year. Uh, may God uh, preserve us in <laughs> the same manner. Keep us strong like he has done with, with her. Yes, Lord. Uh, and she looks good for 99. Yes, she does. And, and, and still able to walk on her own. That's just fabulous. Uh, no cane, no walker, no wheelchair. Come on, Jesus. Uh, so I <laughs> thank God uh, for that. All right. Uh, I've said enough. <laughs> Let, let's get ready to go. Uh, and uh, again, thank you all. Thank you all uh, so much. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you. Cause his face is on upon you. The Lord be gracious unto you. Let the best countenance and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. Hey, guys, we'll see you on uh, this coming Tuesday. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining Zion Temple Church. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share with your friends. And if you're on Facebook, don't forget to like, share with your friends, and comment. We love to bring you the unadulterated word of God, and we are glad that you took the time to join us on today. Were you blessed? Do you feel refreshed? Did you enjoy the word of God? Do you feel at home? If you did, please remember to leave a positive review on our Facebook page, so that way everyone looking at our page can see your great review and know that Zion is a place where they can feel at home. See you next Sunday. If you're going to defeat this giant, if you're going to win the war, it starts on the battlefield of your mind. This is where the war is won. Over the course of your life, you will discover that the obstacle is the way, that there is great counsel in conflict. We will discover that we are most creative in the midst of adversity. So do not run from your battle, for the battle is a learning experience. You got to overcome fear. The moment that you overcome fear, then your opponent is bankrupt. There's nothing they can do. You're going to have to dispense with fear and with negative self-talk. Remember your why. It is the why that gets us to win.
and it is the why that gives us the power to persevere through the how. Stop looking for the addition. Stop looking for the validation. Stop looking for everybody to agree with what you're about to do. Stop looking for everybody to understand and know this. All you have is all you need. I can see you're tired of addiction running towards you with words of darkness, death, attempting to strike fear in your heart. Will you cower? Will you back down? Or will you run into battle? But I see a generation rising up against the one who called you powerless, rising up against the fiery darts of the enemy, rising up against the lie that have held us down far too long, rising up against the despair in the heaviness and the chronic anxiety. I have waited my whole life for this moment. Thank you to everybody that doubted me. Knees buckling, palms sweaty, heart heavy, but I'm ready. I'm afraid, but I'm running. You will hear my feet walk in the pavement. I'm no more complacent. Here's to everybody that doubted me. Here's to everybody that stopped believing in me. Here's to everybody that counted me out. 